back to my channel, Danielle here, and I've got racks behind me. I've got my bunny journal on hand, so that means we are doing a styling video today. Okay, you guys, so we are working with mystery boxes today, and specifically my pre pulled boxes. So there is a difference. I have two types of mystery boxes. The first one is based off your likes, and I only drop 10 a month. And then, because not everyone is able to get their hands on a box, I also provide these pre pulled mystery boxes, which have fits that I would pull together and these are all fits that I would personally wear so let's get started I've got my cup of water here and sorry for like the partial nakedness it reached 110 degrees yesterday so I am preparing myself for the worst because I know this makeup is not gonna stay on by the end of the video but let's get pulling some pieces this rack here I have on my bottom so pants and skirts behind me we've got two piece sets in dresses and then to my far right here we have all tops so I'm gonna go through all these racks kind of just pick and pull pieces that like really attract me or that I'm super drawn to and then I'm gonna start making some fits Okay guys, I pulled some bottoms already. So let's take a look at these pieces. So obviously we've had to do a little bit of leather and it's a mini length, so I feel like this, you know, mini length is very popular right now. We've got just a classic high-waisted mom jean, super, super awesome. Oh, the hanger's coming up, it's so heavy. Okay, I'm just gonna place it on the ground. Oh, this pair of jeans, I low-key want for myself, but totally like Y2K vibes as frayed detailing. It's got a kick flare leg, oh, it's super cute, with the like fading on the front. This like medium wash, medium to light wash. And then we couldn't forget about just a classic midi skirt. I thrifted so many recently and knew how to put them in a few boxes. So we have just a classic feminine floral one, really like that. And then, oh, I so, so, so love these shorts. And they fit me, but the thing is that they're a little bit too long and my torso is really short. So these are gonna go to someone else who can actually appreciate them and wear them nicely. But they're just this like houndstooth print. They've got pleating on the front, kind of give me like a dark academic type vibe and I love that they're high-waisted too so just pair it with the vest oh yes super cute okay so up next is dresses and sweaters and blazers let's see what I can find and then we'll move on to the top I ended up only choosing three things I've already pulled for the other mystery boxes and I noticed that a lot of people still really liked summer spring items so I know we're slowly transitioning into fall but I didn't see very many fall items so I did want to provide a box with maybe just sweaters so I did end up pulling these really awesome like vintage sweaters and they're these two right here I love that they're pastel colored they do fit depending on your measurements for me they are a bit more oversized so I visualize them with like mom jeans and a belted at the waist with some docks for like a kind of soft pastel grunge look so really love these I'll take you in a bit closer but this one has like a zip closure on the front and it has this like stripe rib knit detailing all throughout and then we just got this really pretty pink one here that has a mock neck and then this one also has like a stripe detail to it all throughout so I just think that these are super cool especially for that person who loves pastel colors this is gonna be for them oh and then this next piece Lately when I've been out thrifting, I've been coming across a lot of these open knit, like crochet type pieces. And so, y'all, this one is just so pretty. It's this lilac. If you watched my recent thrift haul, I had talked about this and I was raving about how pretty it is. So I definitely wanted to include this in a mystery box to just surprise someone with a really feminine piece. So had to include that. And I'm already thinking maybe this one, that midi skirt. So that looks super cute. Okay guys, let's go into tops now, see which pieces I like, and I have quite a bit of them. Once we start pulling, we can start making some outfits. But you guys, I just finished pulling a few pieces. I have a total of six, and after looking through all the pieces, it doesn't really surprise me that I chose a lot of red and black. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but I've mentioned this in my previous videos, but red, black, that color combo has been it for me this past month, and I really only have like two color pieces. So let's put all these pieces together and create some outfits, and then I will show you outfit number one right now. Outfit number one and I had to do something that was Y2K and super trendy So I've already raved about these pants, but I love them so freaking much the frayed detailing just elevates it And then I decided to pair it with a tank that has a whole bunch of stuff going on here on the front With all the color blocking and the florals, but overall I think it's a very very trendy piece And what's really cool is that both pieces are super versatile you could style it together or on its own 
Here we have outfit number two and we've got leather, we've got red, and we've got black. So those have been my colors these past few weeks so I had to incorporate them into a fit. But I love that the colors are super bold but the silhouette is still very feminine with the mini skirt. Honestly, I would have gone with some like dock boots but I don't have any. So I had to go with more leather and I decided to go with these longer length boots. We've got fit number three here and it is such a throwback to the 90s. Really love this, even though it's not very ideal for summer right now. It's a good outfit as we're transitioning into fall. So we've got the striped long sleeve shirt. It is ribbed construction, so it does really hug the body. And then we've got some quality mom jeans here. Y'all, I wish you could feel the structure of this denim because it is super thick. And then I decided to add just a little bohemian touch and add the belt to it. But the pants are a little long for me, so I had to roll them up and just paired them with some classic platforms. Okay, so this bundle here isn't a fit, but it's a pair of button-up shirts. And I had to put these together because these funky prints are just so freaking cool. So the first one I have on here is like a green snake print. Both of them fit pretty oversized, so I like styling them in different ways. The green one I just tucked into some leather pants or pulling out some black from the shirt. And then the second one, which is like the striped one and has more purple, definitely had to take the monochrome route. And I decided to work with this purple hue. So I had purple pants, a purple bra, and just paired it with some heels and then this time around use it more as a cover-up everywhere on Depop I was seeing these dark academia type fits so I was like okay I want to create one of my own so here we have this fit here we are playing with such a cute little satin tank and then these high-waisted long-length cuffed shorts that have this houndstooth print all over I think it's really cool the only thing that's really missing is maybe a little cardigan or a blazer to really tie everything together kind of tricky with this one because any wrong move with styling and we look like an instant abuelita so I wanted to make this a bit more young and hip I decided just to do the purple bra underneath and then I decided to do these platform boots to pull out that lighter blue color in the skirt as well. We're showing a bit more skin, we're giving me a little bit more height and I think it's a really cute look. We have our last bundle here and it is two vintage sweaters. When I came across these, I totally fell in love with these colors. I'm obsessed with pastels, so I knew this would be the perfect box for another pastel lover out there. And I love that these both have very different styles. So we have one with a mock neck and then another with this half quarter zip that is really popular and trendy right now. So it makes for a really good fall winter mystery. But you guys, that pretty much does it for styling pre pulled mystery boxes. If you liked any of the bundles, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, I have one more bundle left on my Depop. It is a pre pulled one and it's like an academia fit. So if you want to check it out and if you want to snag it for yourself, it is on my Depop. I am at Tranel. If you guys want to keep up with me throughout the week, I also got an Instagram. I am at Eggy Girl here. Wow, I'm super sticky, sweaty, and oily. So I am in desperate need of a shower. As always, guys, I post videos twice a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!